Hey guys, Nick here. Today I'm going to show you how to add a constant value column to your data set. So let's take for example this workflow that I was working on earlier where we walked through how to take your two different Amazon um, tables and join them together to add tracking numbers to fulfilled orders. Um, so let's say for example your customer service reps handle this workflow every day. So they've confirmed the orders uh, that were taken on a particular date and then they've added the tracking numbers to those orders so then they can then spit out a file to Excel which is then uploaded to Amazon right so we're gonna take this a step further and say let's include in this particular file the date that we confirm the tracking numbers so what we can do is we can add we know the date has to be a consistent value for the day we're, ex we're outputting this file and so it's a constant value right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this data that's sitting here that we just looked at and we're gonna go to our node repository and we're gonna search for constant value column so we'll double click to join that to our existing node right and I'll show you guys how this works so the constant value column is actually pretty easy to get working with um, you can either replace a column value or you can append a new column value so we'll say here confirmation date and then once you decided whether you're replacing a column or you're appending a new column the next step is simply to delineate what that constant value will be so you've got different value types from different numbers to XML to a string to date and time which is what we ultimately want to do or a boolean value so we can say date and time and we'll take the format let's say year year day day month month what we're gonna do is we're gonna say 2022 today is the 14th of month 03 hit apply hit OK and now you can see our node is configured because it's uh, in the yellow status so we can right click and execute and now our existing data set all right it's 14 uh, or sorry it's six columns of data and now we expect that this constant value to show us seven columns where that new column is that constant date value that we added so if we increase the font size a little bit to make it easier to see and we'll wrap the column headers you can see now we've got that confirmation date it's the same consistent value up and down the data set right so that's how you add a constant value column uh, into your data set in NIME um, if you want to stick around I'll show you how to make this constant value a bit dynamic where we're going to take um, a variable and set that as the column value so if you want to keep watching just stick around otherwise I'll catch you on the next video drop any comments or questions in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe alright so part two we're gonna say we've got this node that we've set up on execution you can see over here you use execution date and time we've got that uh, outlined we're gonna make it call we we named it our file date and in an interval of one day one row so basically today the day that it's executed it's gonna output that value so I'll just hit F8 to reset and then I'll hit F7 or right click execute so we can see now this date is based off of when we reset and reran this node which is today the 14th of March 2022 so we can take this I forget how I set this up oh, this is the file name this is irrelevant to this video we don't really need it what's important is that the variable flows down you can see we've got this path that we don't really need we don't need the file name it's part of that other workflow or it's a bit more dynamic actually than this but we've got this file date right and we're gonna take this file date from the string to path and we're gonna push it into a table to row variable node so what this says is it takes this row this takes 
it takes, I'm sorry, the rows in this data table and creates them to variables, depending on which columns you want included. Here I have all three. Really what's important to us is if we execute, sorry, I didn't show you the configuration. All I really did is just make sure that the columns I want turned to variables stay in this include green box. So we'll execute it with F7. Now we can look at our variables. This is the file date. You can see it looks correct. So now what we'll do is we'll take this variable that has our file date and we'll connect it to our constant value column. All right, and now what we can do is double click to set this up. So now where we were previously working only in the settings tab, we're gonna go over to now the flow variables tab and what we're gonna say is over here in this column value, we'll click this drop down, and we want the column value set to the file date, All right? After that, we hit apply. Actually, I think we might have an issue because we've got, because if you look at the flow variable, the column value comes in as a string, as a variable string. So I'm pretty sure we have to set this to a string as well. So our value setting is set to a spring, to a string, <laughs> I'm sorry, to a string where the actual string value is controlled by a parameter, which we know is our file date. So now we can hit apply and um, we can hit okay and we'll be able to execute. A quick pro tip, the reason I realize we have to change this to a string, right, is if you pay attention to the node, it's in yellow over here. But if we go back and go to date time, pay attention, once I hit apply, we get a warning message. So off the bat, I already knew something was missing. Um, but you get used to those things over time once you're working in nine a lot. So we'll go back to a string. So we know it's a string set to be called confirmation date, where the actual value is controlled by a parameter, which if we take step backs, starts at this create date and time range. All right, so we'll hit OK. So now we can execute. And now we should see that constant value column change. And now you can see, while it's still considered a string in NIME, when you output to Excel, it's already formatted as a date because Excel can read this format, the 2022-month-date. Um, so that's all there is to it. That's how you add a constant value column uh, to your data set in NIME. If you have any questions or need anything clarified, don't forget, don't just, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't speak tonight. If you have any questions or need anything clarified, don't hesitate to drop it in the comments. If you have suggestions on the types of videos you want to see, I'd really appreciate that too. I'm trying to deliver value, value to you guys. So whatever you find valuable, I want to put together videos on it. Um, otherwise, don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video with your friends who you think might find it useful. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next one.